All right, welcome back everyone to yet another video. So uh, I'm gonna apologize for this one. I set it up between videos because it actually gave me a lot of problem, but I fixed the snapping. So we have our character, we are running around. And as soon as we aim, we turn to the aim direction, but we turn to the aim direction smoothly instead of snapping like we did before. So both the camera is smooth and the actual rotation of the camera. It is giving me issues every now and then still. Oh, it is looking quite nice. So I think like if you spam it, it's gonna look weird. Uh, so we'll just make it not spammable at some point. Uh, I, I know why this issue happened here. But you can see it looks a lot better. So the character is not instantly teleporting to, to the other way. It's like the issue wasn't so much when we already faced the control rotation, like this. Then it's quite all right. Uh, but the issue was mostly when uh, we were running towards the camera. Then we want to make a smooth turn. So this were giving me a lot of issues. So the reason I did it between videos was so we actually could, because uh, it would have been like a 40 minute video otherwise. It took me a long time. So we need to change some stuff up. I was like, this is not required. This is like, this is just to make it a little bit nicer. So, uh, what I did was, I made a new function here. So, basically, this entire function. So, what happened before was, in the is aiming, we had this uh, use controller rotation or orient rotation to movement and use controller rotation yaw. And these are the ones that snap, basically, because we set them instantly and we were running towards the camera and then we set them instantly and then the character has to snap towards the uh, control rotation. So that's bad. So we delete those or copy those. And instead, we want a new function. This function is called client set rotation to movement slash yaw. So this is basically the same as we had in that one, but it's a server or, or it's an event run on owning client and it's a, an event that runs on the server. And on the client event, we call the set rotation to movement that is on the server. So it's this one. So we call this event from the client. Since the movement is already replicated, we know that because replicates, uh, movement, uh, where is it? There, replicate movement is checked. So the, this component is already replicating. So we only need to set it on the client and we need to set it on the server, but we don't need to set it to multicast it or, or RPC it or uh, rep notify it. So that's it. So we don't want to call this function here though. Uh, and we removed it from in here. So at this point, we're not really adjusting the control rotation because before we do that, we want to rotate the character. So how do we rotate the character without enabling these first? And we do that by creating a new custom event called client smooth rotation to aim. We're going to get the control rotation and you're gonna promote it to a variable, right click, promote to variable. And we're gonna call it starting ro rotation or start, yeah, whatever you wanna call it. It's just so we get a steady value of our actual rotation to start rotating from. Then we're gonna right click and create or create add timeline. We're gonna add timeline. And the timeline is just add a float track 
and then we add two keys to it. So one from the beginning, which is zero, at time zero, the value will be zero, at time 0 0.3, the value will be one, and the total length of the timeline is 0 0.3. This is the time it takes for you to actually turn. So do you want it quicker, reduce the time value? Do you want it slower, increase the time value? And we play it from start. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Uh, so on the update, you want to call set actor rotation uh, to set it on the client side. So we're going to start by setting it on the client side. So then we get this starting rotation that we just made. And from it, we lerp. And from the lerp, you split the B value because we want to use the yaw from the control rotation, but we want to use the pitch and roll from uh, the starting rotation because otherwise the character will start like tilting towards the floor as well and stuff like that. We only want the jaw rotation, uh, which is sideways, so because we're gonna turn sideways. So, so we're gonna lerp from the starting rotation to, so just get the starting rotation again and split the structing. So we're gonna get the roll from the starting location and Y pitch from the starting location, but the yaw is gonna be from the control rotation. We're gonna force shortest path And then we're going to get the return value and we're going to set actor rotation of self. Now that's not enough. We also need to replicate it. And we're going to replicate it by doing a server event called server set actor rotation, which is just a server, server event that sets the actor rotation. And then we're going to call it after the actor rotation. And it's fine. We only need to do it on the client and then on the server. So set it on the client, set it on the server. Then when the timeline is done, so on from finished, we set this client set rotation to move and yaw, which is the one we made in the beginning. So that means that we're not actually adjusting to the rotation yaw until we finished manually rotating the character towards the control rotation. Did you follow? I know this is complicated stuff. This took me a while to figure out and I had to like remake it a hundred times. I tried with timeline uh, or I tried with a bunch of other things. Uh, and this seems to be the best working way I got it to do to do it. So basically we just removed it. Then from release, we don't need to do the timeline thing again. I guess you could just reverse it you can do a custom event called smooth rotation to normal or whatever. I don't see why you would need to do that though, because the character basically does that by itself. Um, so yeah, and then from the right, right mouse button when we're actually aiming, we start by saying, by calling this smooth rotation to aim. So that's the first thing we do. Then we set this server set is aiming which is the same function as we had before, but we removed, as I said, we removed the orient rotation to movement and uh, the control rotation jaw here. Then we move the camera as we, or then we attach the camera to the uh, uh, aim camera spring arm. We set the movement speed. We set the visibility of the reticle on the HUD, but we moved this move component 2 from here to afterwards because I wanted to add a slight delay because without the slight delay the camera was a little bit shaky but this means that the character actually starts rotating for 0 0.1 seconds you could do it longer 0 0.2 seconds might even and then we can reduce this to 0 0.2 maybe 
so that the character gets a chance to actually rotate first before the camera pans in. So you have to you have to play around with uh, with the settings for that yourself to make it look nice. I think this looks quite good. And it's working. Smooth rotation. So yeah, that's it. Just a quick update. Uh, and uh, sorry about not making it live, but as I said, now it's 10 minutes the other way. Otherwise it would have been 40 minutes and I would have just gotten annoyed at not, not actually figuring out how to do it and yada yada yada. So this is actually a, was a good solution for the more complicated stuff. Anyway, uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next one. Also, please like and subscribe if you're new to the channel and have a good life. Bye.